Hi, welcome to another video, PyPad Mathematics. I'm Professor Lamb, and this video is going to be uh, another one in the series on consecutive numbers. And this one's on odd numbers, so consecutive odd numbers, uh, meaning you have one, uh, let me do that again, we have one, three, five, seven, dot, 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 well, you know, all the way to n. And what we're trying to do, or the, the problem that we're focusing in on, is finding the sum of n consecutive uh, odd numbers. So, you're a teacher of mathematics, you are presenting this to students, and you kind of put up there, what is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7? And students find it out. Well, what is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9? And what's it plus 10 plus, or sorry, uh, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13? You go on and on, and then you ask, what's the sum of the first 10 consecutive odd numbers, or the first 15 consecutive odd numbers, or the first 1,000 consecutive odd numbers? And so that's, this is how we do it. You, you pose the question, you let students work through it. And you want students to come up with solutions. You want students to uh, determine on their own some type of uh, solution and a rule or a method that they came about or used to get to that solution. That's algebraic thinking. That's critical thinking. That's, that's what we want students to do. That's the challenge of problem solving or being a teacher that focuses in on problem solving, we want to challenge students to do that. So how do we do this? Um, well, we're going to clear all real quick. Whoops. Whoops. And then I didn't have any, so we hitting the wrong button. All right. So here we are. We cleared it out. And the idea is we want to create a way of we have one plus 3, plus 5, plus 7, plus 9. And so this is going to be the first consecutive number, the second consecutive number, the third, the fourth, and the fifth consecutive number. Now, if we are trying to create some type of table of values, which is what you want to focus in on for students, you, you try to find the sum of these. So the sum of, this is going to be consec numbers, and when you have one consecutive odd number, what is the sum? Well, the sum is going to be one. When you have two consecutive numbers, that's going to be one plus three, the sum is going to be four. When you have three consecutive odd numbers, it's going to be 1 plus 3 plus 5, which is 9. When you have four consecutive odd numbers, it's 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, 16. Five consecutive numbers, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. That's going to be 25. And now you ask students to find a rule. Uh, what is the tenth? How many are going to be in, what's the sum of the first 10 consecutive odd numbers? What's the sum of the first 100 consecutive odd numbers? Can you do it? Uh, can you find this uh, solution? Ideally, you'd want students to just look right at those sums, these values right here, and see, well, these are the square numbers. Oh, I got it. No problem. You take the number of consecutive odd numbers and you square it and that tells you the sum. So if I want to find 100 consecutive odd numbers, the sum is going to be 100 squared, which is a big number, 10,000. Um, so how do we challenge students to think beyond that? Or what are some other ways that students could come up with a solution for that? And one way is geometrically. Uh, one way is to allow or to use a manipulative. Uh, this is an app from Braining Camp of Color Tiles. And you have them kind of model it. If I were to do the sum, 
So we will write my consecutive numbers down here. It's 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, uh, 11. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to build the first set, the first sum of the first consecutive number, or one consecutive number is just going to be 1. Of two consecutive numbers is going to be 4. So I'll put 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And then of three consecutive numbers, what did we say it was? Oh, yeah, it was 9. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the next one's going to be 16. I undo that. We got one, two, three. Some of you are watching me right now and you're thinking, why is he doing this? What is the point? Because uh, you're a teacher of mathematics, and what you're doing is you know where this is going. You're thinking, well, why isn't he just making squares? Why isn't he doing that? Well, the, the point is that we want to show how students will think about this. How will students go through this process and determine what to do? Uh, so that was, what, 9? So this is going to be, that's 10, and that's going to be... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And so what are students going to do is the big question. How are students going to approach this problem? And one way that they approach is they just kind of put them out there. They make little lines. They, um, uh, I say, build with the blocks and see if you can find some kind of pattern. And they, they do something like this, where they have them all scattered, where they're, they're not anywhere, where they're supposed to be, if you will. And so what you need to do as a teacher of mathematics is help guide them. You help orient them towards a way of maybe better representing this uh, illustration. And, and so what you, what you have is, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all these numbers off, is the first one I'm going to put down here. And it's the sum of one consecutive number. So I tell the students, you know what would be helpful? Is if when we're building these, the number of consecutive numbers that we're adding together, have that number of blocks in your base. Because that will help you visually see a connection between that input value and the output. So if the second input value is going to be two consecutive numbers, then what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to make my base of two. And remember, I have to have four, so I want to build rectangles. Tell them we're building rectangles. When you have that base, see if you can build a rectangle, because the rectangle will help you visually see what's going on. And so then we go to the next one, three consecutive numbers. We want to take these and we want to make a base of three. And so we're making, we're building a rectangle. So we bring this in, we fill it in, and you want students to help explore that. They're filling it in with their um, uh, color tiles, and they're noticing, wait, we're making squares. And then this one's going to be, we want a base of four, three, four. And so now we put these on top. We're making our rectangle, so we keep that base of four. We fill in the next row of four, and then the next row of four, and then the next row of four, until we have four rows of four, using all 16 that we know we're supposed to have in there. And then there we have it. We have our nice little, once we establish that input value becomes your base, and you're trying to build rectangles, you can visually see that the sum of one consecutive number, of two consecutive numbers, of three consecutive odd numbers, of four consecutive odd numbers is a square. And therefore, our way of writing that is going to be, this is one squared, 
and this is 2 squared, and this is 3 squared, and this is 4 squared. So if I want to find 100, the sum of 100 consecutive odd numbers, it's going to be 100 squared. If I want to find 523, the sum of 523 consecutive odd numbers, it's 523 squared. And that's the idea, that you take students through kind of an algebraic or a number sense type of exploration, finding a solution, and then you show them different ways. You're building that arsenal, that toolbox of, of ways to solve problems, of think about things, and this is one way that you can do it. Geometrically, using an iPad, using an app like this, help them move it around, it's really good stuff. So. Um, this was the sum of consecutive odd numbers. Uh, I am Professor Lamb, and this is PyPad Mathematics. Uh, take care.